Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, okay, we got to say a big thank you to Paul, my Bundesliga Liverpool guy, for unlocking this objective, okay? Because I was really busy doing all the promo uh, reviews, right? And obviously, if he wasn't going to do it, I was going to do the gameplay objective first and then the promo cards after. But because of this absolute saint, he allowed me to review the promo cards and then get to a specific point where he finishes the gameplay objective card so I can review this card on, on stream and video, all that good stuff, right? So guys, be sure to say a big thank you to Paul because he's an absolute monster for this, okay? Because now I could do this for stream content and all that fun stuff. So he's a beast, okay? I love him for it. Guys, let's check out this gameplay objective card. Is it worth the grind? Is it worth the seven-hour grind? We will see, okay? We will see. So, hey, Brazilian people, correct me if I'm wrong, right? But the way that you say this guy's name is Henier, is it not? Henier? I'm pretty sure because Brazilian people and Portuguese people have this way of pronouncing these types of names, right? Like Henrique, right, is like from from where I'm from, from Portugal, Açores, right? It's Henrique, right? We, I have a cousin that's his name, Henrique, right? Uh, and I think Brazilian people pronounce it very similarly. It's like Henrique, Henrique, Henrique. It's something like that, right? It's like a, a pronunciation of the sorts, right? But I'm pretty sure this guy's name is Henier. So that's what we're going to be calling him for the review. But we're taking a look at a car, ladies and gentlemen, that is six foot one, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skill moves with a four star weak foot. In regards to his in game player traits, he has the flare trait, but no finesse shot trait and no outside foot shot trait. In regards to his in game abilities, he's got 93 acceleration with 89 sprint speed, which is good for base card stats playing in the striker position. You guys know that I use uh, Pedro Gonzalez's card uh, with acceleration and sprint speed that's not necessarily the highest, but if he's a striker that has around this general area, it's definitely very helpful, right? With this card, guys, I'm actually going to be giving him the marksman chemistry style because I want to boost his dribbling as much as I possibly can while also boosting his finishing. I really, really hope that he has that sharp dribbling, okay? I really hope he does to make the grind worth it, okay? 87 attacking positioning is not necessarily a big deal for me, right? Because if I can compensate and, well, hopefully he has like crazy attacking AI, but if I can compensate well for it, then that's definitely going to be very ideal, right? But we are going to be giving him the marksman chemistry style so that we do boost his shooting, his dribbling, as well as his physical, because it boosts his strength all the way to a 95, which is very, very nice. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and slap that right onto the card there. Um, and yeah, so Marksman Chemistry Style boosting the main shooting stats of finishing shot power as well as long shots while already having 90, vo 90 volleys at 88 composure, right? So a couple of interesting things so far with this card. Passing on the card is also very good for base card stats. So, hey man, if his dribbling is decent, I could actually use him as a cam as well because the passing is actually pretty solid. Uh, with dribbling, he's got 93, 84, 84, 88, 91 with 88. So the balance part of the card, you know, it's a situation where, you know, you could potentially give him the engine chemistry style, right? But then I feel like the reactions of ball control could potentially be noticeable in game, but you would be boosting his pace by a little bit as well as his shooting well, you wouldn't be boosting his shooting, obviously, because it's at an 87 for finishing and 92 for shot power, but you'd also be giving him the passing. The reason why it's important for me to try out certain chemistry styles with a card is because I will feel what I'm missing in the game, right? So it's going to be very important uh, to see what all of those base things are and what chemistry style makes the most sense to give him. But let me go ahead and do the custom tactic real quick, and then we'll uh, get into it. Okay, guys, so we're going to be using Henier in the uh, striker position on stay forward instructions. Him... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually switch Coleman off to the side here because Forsberg is an aggressive can, which is definitely going to be very interesting to see uh, with Henier's card. So stay forward on all the main attackers. Let's see how this card performs in game, guys. Okay, so we're actually facing off against a really interesting team. I wonder if he packed that Camavinga card because if he did, GG's because he's not a card you buy in my opinion, but he's pretty cool. Okay, so we'll switch to the defensive tactic. Let's see what your dribbling is like. Okay, he doesn't have emphasis touches. That's good. We could definitely work with that. Nice. We put enough pressure on the uh, opposition there to get the ball back. I'm going to go ahead and force an attacking AI movement over here. Pass. Oh, man, that would have been nice. I should have done a, a double tap pass right there. Okay, good. He angles his runs. That's very important. It's nice, man. 
This guy's gonna make that run right there. I see the space right here at the top. I'm gonna utilize that space. We're gonna cancel that run. We're gonna see how he comes back into position. Well done. First time fake shot, first time strike. Not bad. I'm gonna switch him to the uh, left striker position because I wanna see what his weak foot is like too in certain situations. Oh, that's a good run, man. Let's go. Shot cancel. Shot cancel again. Get the angle. Shot cancel again. Ooh. Ah, oh, we try to work with his body a little bit. It's good, man. He's making those right attacking AI runs. It's awesome. Good. Switches his position. Could have made that pass there if I wanted to. That's good, man. Just want to see if he's uh moving the right ways, you know? Let's go. Good play, man. Good play. Worked that middle space really well. You guys know me. I like to get a feel of the card in the beginning so I can get an idea of how I'm supposed to use them, you know? Because not every card's the same. Oh, and I hit the crossbar. That was so nice. Okay, guys. So for this next game, I want to accommodate his dribbling for what it is. And I want to use him with the Hunter Chemistry style. Now, the reason being for this is because the Hunter Chemistry style is giving him uh, maximum acceleration and sprint speed while giving him a plus 5 for attacking positioning, a plus 10 for finishing, and a plus 5 for shot power while giving him 99 volleys. So I kind of want to just test out his dribbling for what it is and see if uh, if he performs a little bit better. So you see that little emphasis touch that he does on the ball right there? The sprint speed and the acceleration was definitely a really nice thing to have, but that part of the card dribbling wise was noticeable. Nice, good layoff pass. Angled run. Finesse shot. Oh, I think that was actually going to go in if it wasn't for the uh, block. Got him on that shot cancel right there, you see? I wanted to see how he would shoot from that angle. Alright, let's play some regular FIFA now, guys. Let's see what's up with this card. There we go. Good finish. You know what's funny is that when I actually took that shot, it felt really controlled. Which is very weird. Like, it felt light, if that makes any sense. Like, when I let go of the, uh, the shot and the way that he kind of took it afterwards. I like that he makes those angled runs, but then adjusts himself right away, you know? Like, that's very important that he does that. It's a good attacking AI, because uh, normally when you're attacking as a lone striker, um, it's nice for you to wait for that transition back into the middle. It's really cool. Mm. Yeah, I feel like with this card, guys, like, I'm just trying to test out his, uh, his dribbling a little bit more. Um, I feel like you have to boost his dribbling as much as possible uh, because it is affecting the way that he attacks pushing forward and kind of like going into those uh, really small little bits of spaces to, you know, create the passing lanes and create the space for himself to, uh, to shoot. Okay, guys, so this time we're actually going to give him the engine chemistry style. Uh, reason being for this is because he is a six foot one player with the high and average body type. So I do want to see if I can fix his dribbling at all, right? So obviously, if this doesn't fix it, that's going to be his base characteristic, which I think it's going to be, obviously. But I do aim to make these types of players as responsive as they can be and be the best versions of themselves. So for this game, we will play some regular FIFA. Yeah, I think the engine's going to be the best choice for him, for sure, guys. I think it's because of his height and his body type. Yeah, his dribbling feels a little better with the uh, balance boost, for sure. Going to make this pass here, see how he reacts. He moves into the space right away. That's good. Oh, good interception right there. Well done. 
Oh, yeah, we got that shot cancel off there. Nicely done. Hey, man, started the play right there with the uh, interception, got into the right position, scored the opportunity. Um, I kind of want to try something with him, actually. Um, I'm going to tell both of my strikers to get in behind. Because uh, Forsberg's pretty aggressive, right? So if they're all aggressive, it'll definitely be uh, an interesting balance to take a look at. Good tackle. I'm going to do an angled run here upwards so I can work with the space here. First time pass. Take shots. Touch. Shot. Nice. Good job. So the way that you want to do that, by the way, is you want to make the first time pass and then you just right stick flick into the uh, into the space. And it's always good to do those angled runs uh, into those areas. Oh, that shot cancel, man. <laughs> Woo, let's go. We're getting the feel of him a little bit now. The getting behind instructions working really well. It's very similar situ situation to uh, Anzu Fati's card. Like, I don't like Anzu Fati on balanced. Um, he's okay on balance, like Renier, uh, Renier is, but it's better to uh, force the instruction for sure. There it is. Get in behind, man. It's good that he has that good base attacking AI so that when you give him the get in behind... He does those angled runs, which is really cool, man. Oh, I got the timing right there, too. Just the touch afterwards was a little bit rough, for sure. Oh, that's good. He doesn't overcommit there. That's awesome. Yeah, so he understands he's going to get into an offside position, so he holds it. That's good. See those adjusted runs that he makes? It's good. Let's go. One more. That body film was good, man. I just want to test it in that area. There we go. Nicely done. You see, that's the that's the attacking AI that you wait for, right? It's when they go to the side and then they come back into the middle. I will admit that with this card, even with the engine chemistry style, he still sways a little bit. But you can compensate way more for it with the engine, in my opinion, because of the uh, balance boost the card's actually given, right? So, nice little goal right there. All right, guys, so final verdict on Henier's card in regards to how he performs in game. Um, in my opinion, I enjoyed using the card, right? So once I gave him the engine chemistry style, which is what I think is best for him, um, I felt like he was performing really nicely, right? So with this card, the engine chemistry style is boosting his base card stats of a plus 10 for the balance while being a six foot one player at a high and average body type. So I feel like it's very important to boost his dribbling as much as possible. Now, boosting his dribbling as much as possible will not necessarily fix his dribbling in general right like obviously there are certain moments where he'll still do a little bit of push touches but in my opinion from the games that i played i enjoy using him more with the engine chemistry style because it also gives him that pace boost and because we have that get in behind instruction on the card and he actually makes those really good angled runs the card was more enjoyable to use in regards to that. I didn't really feel like the 87 attacking positioning was a huge hindrance. Uh, it is noticeable that he doesn't have uh, the best attacking AI, right? Like, obviously, like, players like Flashback, Higuain, and stuff like that. But... I do think that his attacking AI is still good. It's not generic, you know? I've already reviewed cards in the past like Barnes, and I think Barnes has really generic attacking AI. But this card, in my opinion, doesn't. But it is a type of card where I do feel like you have to force the instructions out of him to be able to fully utilize him. With the way that he was moving across the pitch uh, on the engine chemistry style, I kind of just realized, like, hey, if I give him a get in behind and he actually still makes those get uh, those angled runs... It'll be amazing because what you guys notice with the way that he contributes to the play is that he pushes to the side, but then he goes right back into the middle. With that getting behind instruction, it actually opens up a lot of space for you uh, in between the defense. So I enjoyed using the card with the engine camera style. I definitely think it makes the most sense for him. Is the gameplay objective worth getting? So if you're looking for a card uh, that has full meta characteristics obviously this isn't going to be your guy it's probably not going to be worth the grind for you right but if you're looking for a really cool striker to use in your team that gives you those bundesliga links those brazilian links the Borussia dortmund links this is going to be your guy right because with a card like henier's in your team right if you have witzel playing in that center mid position right or even in the cam position you already give him that one green direct link and you can kind of just like rotate your team accordingly. You can also add Thorgan Hazard's uh, card in the, in, in the, uh, in the team. Uh, if we take a look at his card, uh, his position is the striker position, right? So 
let's just think of it like this. You put Flashback Witzel, Thorgan Hazard, um, and then you put Henier's card, right? And you have that triple links up in like a 4-3-1-2. You can already have the chemistry like that and rotate the team into something else. So there's a lot of cool things you can work with because of him being Brazilian and from Borussia Dortmund. So that's kind of like where my head's at when it comes to using cards. Like I said, and I always tell you guys, if they make a card like Fabio Silva or Andre Silva, something like this, who is a physical oriented striker, right? With the way that his body type is set up and with his strength and stuff, I would be really happy with the card, right? So um, that's my, my opinion. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.